Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome to your weekly reading. Okay, so here we go. We're going to be looking at the week of the 4th to the 10th, my beautiful Pisces, and the energies in which they're coming in. For this week, I feel like bringing in um, Rider Waite Smith. And that's all that's coming to me this week. I want to be like almost traditionally Rider Waite Smith. And I have enough clones to do it. So um, we're going to see just how that works out. Um, <clears throat> I have also this one that's from Radley Valentine. I forget the name of it. I cut it to just the images to make like a mini deck. So um, if I need any verification, I'm going to be using this one. It's very cute. It's very nice. I don't use it nearly enough. Um, I love the images. I just really don't like the backs and um, I'm still I'm still at a standstill about that. I, I still may do something with the back. Um, yeah, but that's neither here or there. You don't care about that, do you? No, I don't think you do. I don't, I don't, maybe you do. I don't know. Um, yeah. Um, if you look at this deck, I did it. This was the Guild Tarot. Let me see. This was the Guild Tarot, and I actually put, like, marker. I put, like, I blacked it out, except for the moon. I just kept the moon. That's all I did. So it gives us this really nice patina on some of these cards. It looks like they're, you know, because I love the cards. I just didn't love the borders or the backs. So, yeah, I did what I wanted with them. So, <clears throat> I may do it with this one because, look, this one has a moon as well. It's just very... It takes a long time. It's involved to do these things. All right. As always, if you hear Bunny in the background, that's my little girl. Uh, my little adopted girl. So she's still all right for now. So we're very grateful for that. If I can name them, I'm going to name them. This one is I think, the Radiant. Is it the Radiant White? It's this one here. Hold on. Oh, if I can get the box. In case you guys want it. Yeah. It's the Radiant Wise Spirit from um, Los Lo Scarabio, if that's the way you actually say his name. I'm never sure of it. But And let's see here. What the energy is going to be like for the week. I do the Celtic cross without doing the Celtic cross. Okay, no surprise there. Um, we're heading into the week on the tenth. There's wait a minute. I'm gonna go look just to make sure that I'm not putting my foot in my mouth while I'm talking because that happens. Yeah, it's a super new moon in Pisces, so it doesn't surprise me that the card that I associate as a reader myself. Not everybody does that, but for me. I associate it to us as the young dreamer, the one who, you know, has mile-high ideas, um, a tender soul, right, a psychic soul, um, that it would come in as the energy that's coming in. Um, that's very good. You just got to be careful because it's like a super dose of Pisces with the eclipse. So feeling that come in, it might make you feel a little bit... Um, well, wanting to get lost in that energy, right? So, just, um, yeah, let's see. I'm going to pull from this one. <laughs> so, this is the Four of Wands. I do believe, yeah. And this is the Page of Swords. So, hmm. I feel that the energy is saying that you're going to... Yeah. I feel caution here. I feel like it's saying... Because for the Page of Swords, it's always like a very young energy. But he's kind of misleaded sometimes. You know, he's... He's that energy of chasing, you know, the 
the windmills and stuff like that, you know, see danger where there's none. He's very, you know, he's, he's kind of, he could, he could be seen. Every time I see him, I see him as the gossip, you know, the one who's in the drama zone. So, um, he's that kind of person who maybe is not seeing the truth, even though it's right in front of him. You know, like all those butterflies asking for change. He's not really seeing. He's looking straight at you, right? Probably giving you some information that's mm, stemmed in truth, but not totally. So just, um, I feel this is like your brain going, let's party, let's be Pisces. So I feel like, a, <clears throat> you know, it's like a caution. Don't get too lost during this time of energy that's coming in because if you don't deal with stuff in the month of March, okay, um, <clears throat> if you at some point decide, oh, I'm just going to daydream my days away, um, <clears throat> March is going to be that kind of energy, especially for according to the moonology, that um, if you haven't dealt with what you're supposed to deal with, you're going to fall on your butt. It's you're gonna fall hard on your butt. Um, I feel like a tower moment going like, yeah, well, we gave you a chance to take care of it, and here you are not doing it. So mm, now you know. So please, I mean, by all means, enjoy the beautiful Pisces energy. Do it, you know, like really do it. But please make sure that you are dealing with things as well. Okay. So let's look at the block here. I'm feeling with this Ten of Pentacles, if it's in a block position, especially because it's Pentacles, it's like what you can see, right? What you can see, touch, feel, it's material stuff. That's what I'm feeling. It's, it's kind of saying, yeah, here we go. We have a renewal, and this is the card of judgment in this deck. Um... And I feel like that's what it's saying. They don't say judgment, but you know what? You might as well just call it that. Because <clears throat> pay attention to everything, okay? Pay attention to your physical surroundings, your emotional surroundings, your spiritual surroundings. Don't just get, just don't, you know, go hermit into one specific energy. Make sure that you are cleansing and continue your journey and just moving forward. Embrace the beautiful energy of Pisces, but make sure that within it you are still doing tangible things, you know, of the, the world that we live in, the physical world. Because I feel like they're saying by the end of the month, there's that, that judgment where you're going to be held accountable because the judgment card, I don't care what they say here, it's, um, it's the card of, like, if you haven't changed release and reviewed what you need to, um, there's kind of, there's, this could almost be like a reckoning too, right? Um, it's a nice way of saying <laughs> you're going to get renewed. <laughs> and do you want to get renewed in, like, a way that you want or don't want? So please make sure... <clears throat> That you're dealing with the stuff that you want to. Now, if this is, it's easier, what I'm feeling here, it's easier sometimes to get lost in the imagination of Pisces rather than dealing with maybe a goal or a set thing that you've been working on, okay? Instead of putting it on the back burner, they want you to work on your goals, your the things that you want to bring abundance to. That can still be something of the heart. It doesn't necessarily mean career, but it's something that's definitely in your space. In other words, other people, houses, careers, life, okay? The life you want to lead. Now, 
I know everybody's got their opinions. You can't do this. And you can, you can comment on that. That's fine. But everybody's different, right? Everybody sees things in a very different way. So what's abundant and good for you is not abundant and good for the next person. Okay? So this here is exactly that. Um, yes, it's great to have Piscean energy coming in. You can feel it flowing into our energy, but please don't get lost in the imagination. And imagination is wonderful at bringing ideas to the surface, but it's not so great at bringing ideas to the table. So you need to continue bringing those ideas, that imagination, to the table, or it's going to act as a block. Okay, so I'm not sure what's the block here. Maybe it's the block to your imagination that's coming in with this card, or it's the other way around. So, and it's the first time I do this, but I think that um, maybe you're working too hard and your imagination's taking a hit, or you're imagining too hard and your work's taking a hit. But either or, these are kind of stuck together. That's what I'm feeling. They're kind of, um, they're kind of in bed together, if you want to call it that. So, let's see. I want to take another Rider Waite Smith for... I have many. I have many, 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 many. Let's, let's take my nice brown deck. I like this deck. It's one of my favorites. It's a plastic one that I got. Um, these are on Etsy. They're just clones of the um, Rider Waite Smith. Um, I don't know if I actually put the link because I don't even know if she's still there anymore. But for a while, I got a whole bunch from her. Okay. I got a pink one. I got a, you know, all kinds of one, different ones. So, what do we got here? This is your ground, and let's say your crown. <clears throat> all right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now that I mentioned it, and I did mention it, um, I feel for some of you is the, uh, it's right here, the star, it's the renewal. Again, that card of renewal is coming in, and I feel like you're not looking at that, okay? Um, the reason it was called renewal in here is because that's, that's what I associate this card with. So it's telling me, for some of you that we had this conversation, how does it work when the messages come through? This is how it works with the decks, right? Um, you pick decks for a purpose. You feel that energy when you pick them. You just know that you want them in your hands. You know that you want to use them the week you're using them. That's the best way to know. There's no, um, you know, it's, magic is in the way you feel inside yourself when you're doing readings. Okay, so just letting you know doesn't have to have anything externally blow up or anything you know you just you just feel it inside and this the card of renewal being upside down with the star because my keywords for the star is hope peace and renewal so right away I knew it's illumination optimism renewal I knew this renewal is upside down and this renewal is judgment so there's something that you're avoiding this week somehow some way and it needs to be dealt with. Um, in the crown, I see right here, it's saying that you need to deal with the situation. You need to find a solution. You need to find a compromise. This is my card of compromise, where an, it, um, there's a problem, but an interesting way of dealing with it could come up. I love this card, because it's, it's, it's a five. It's one of my tools and my... Um, kitty bag, I'm a life path five. By the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel, Life Path Number Tarot. It'll be below somewhere. Please go and do that now. It's going to be a fabulous channel. You can invite everybody you know because everybody has a life path number. And uh, I'm a five. So, as I said, this stuff. There's the other five. This is the five of cups, right? It's not dealing with the cups that are falling down. If you see even in this picture, he's not looking at the stuff, okay? This is all about avoidance. This is all about avoidance, okay? 
and they're saying right here in your crown it's begging you okay the three of wands to go forward and the page of pentacles to do the work to learn what you need to learn to move forward and again it's a pentacle it's a very material i feel like it's a it's it's an at odds between the the um feeling and touching the the vibration and the the actual physical manifestation of doing the work in other words picking up the broom and sweeping you know not just imagining a clean room picking up the broom and actually cleaning the room is what i'm feeling so <clears throat> this is the thing it's like they're saying um for your ground deal with the fact that if you are not taking care of business business is going to take care of you it's as simple as that in the readings right now that's what it feels like if you don't take care of business, business is going to take care of you, okay? So find answers innovatively, and they're saying it's by looking at new ideas. This is usually like a new course, new kind of education, a new project. So the word new is coming in and launch into that new problem-solving technique to come up with a solution, okay? So this is the crown. In the ground. Yeah, no, I'm not doing it like the Celtic cross, but you guys are seeing it, right? Yeah, you're understanding what's going on here. Okay, so new new writer Sway writer way Smith deck. <clears throat> Do I take the snow deck? This is kind of like my snow deck. Let's see. Or Oh no, we'll take the before and after decks. Yes, yes, because they're before and after. Duh. I have these. Might as well use them. And they're writer smite. They're clones. So let's see. I don't want to... These are in a little caddy beside me. So I don't want to... I want to make sure I have them all. And this one is what? Before. I think this might be the before, yep. Yeah. yeah, this is the before. So this is the one we want. This is the before. And it has beautiful scenes of before on it. All right. <laughs> uh, before Pisces, what's going on here? Um, the fish has been just dropped in the cup. Okay, so in other words, this gift, whatever this is, this idea, this new thing that came in, it was just dropped on you before. You know, it's like a gift from the heavens, gift from spirit telling you, look, you need to go in this direction, you need to figure out where you're going, etc., etc. I love the fact that this came out again. Okay, so let's take the after to row here. This is the other deck. This is the after. Let's pull them both and see what they have to say. Yeah, um, right here, you see in him, look, it's be careful not to walk into a trap, okay? This is, this is, I feel what they're saying, look, you've been given a gift, now work it, okay, do it, before you end up walking into a trap. Um, look where you're going. I feel, I know this is what's coming, but they feel like they're saying, um, they've, made it clear that they want to talk about this so that you know what's coming. See, there's um, Break the Chains. The ego is the devil card. Break the Chains before the wheel spins. This, this is what I feel they're saying. The wheel's coming. A, a cycle change is happening in this month, and they want you to make sure that you have dealt with all the crap that you need to. Okay? Because if you don't, 
you're going into a trap and you won't even be able to call it a trap because Pisces, you will have known. You will have watched us. You will have known. You were forewarned. And this is what Spirit wants to tell you. Deal with your crap. Don't run away from it. Don't hide. Don't escape from it. Don't go into imaginary mode like, oh, it'll all get... No, 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 no. Look at things dead in the face, dead in the eye, dead in the situation, and deal with it. Okay? No fear. No fear. Strength, brave, hard, courage. This is the year of courage. Do not run away from stuff this year. Do not run away from stuff. It's going to pay you dividends to stand up to things. Honestly. And they're right on you. Like, I feel like they're right on you. They're going, look, if you do it, you're going to, you know, it's like, I'm telling you, this is what's going to happen if you do it. They're kind of like, mm, don't do it. Okay. Like you said, you've been given a great gift, obviously, Pisces. Here you go. There's your gift. There's your present. Now, don't walk away from it. Deal with it. Okay. Negative energies. Don't look the other way. Don't be like, you know, I don't see anything. Deal with it. So that this doesn't happen. Because you're going to get snared. You're going to get, you're going to get hit again. Okay. With something else. So. For myself, there's a lot of things that come in. And every time I feel uh, now a negative energy, um, I sit and deal with it. Or try to. Very much so. Because um, I don't like feeling unwell. I don't like feeling bad for something that happens. Um, came to a few conclusions in the last uh, couple of weeks about things and really sat with the feeling and understood where it came from. I have a feeling it's in, in difficult times when you're moving forward, you're going to need that knowledge. That's just what comes in. You're going to need that knowledge to push through. And if you already know about it, you're good, right? Um, as in to like heal it completely, I'm not sure you can sometimes, but knowing what causes it and why you're feeling that way may save you a lot of time and a lot of unnecessary hurt. So just keep that in mind, keep that relevant. Okay, so next up is... Um, um, what others think about you and how your how how they feel your energy and how your energy feels going out from you. Let's let's call it that. Okay. Let's deal with the energy you give to the energy that's received. Hey, I like that, you guys. Yeah. Finally, I have proper names for my own Celtic cross. There you go. Energies perceived and energies received. A hey, good, 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 good. Okay, so here's the energy that they receive from you. Another Rider Waite Smith clone. <laughs> oh, that's not great. <laughs> Again, you're sending him a, a, an energy of you know anxiety. Okay, yeah, all right, so, these are not great cards, Pisces, actually, I, you know, like, I have to say, these are not great cards, what are you so anxious about, and why are you sending this energy out, and why are you trying to control this so much, it, it might be that this is all new, this kind of energy coming in and out, um, is it because we don't like, we put our heads in the sand? Yeah, I'm probably right. Yeah, that's, that's probably the problem here. Okay, for some of us, we like to put our heads in the sand. And I'm, I'm going to hear, I'm hearing from my spirit guides, and it's for some of you who look like um, big bosses in your life too. Okay, you give the appearance that you look like you've got everything together doesn't necessarily you always mean that you always do. Aha. So you've been you've been called out. 
This is funny. All right. So what are we calling in? What are they what are they calling in? Come on. Everybody in the comments. Everybody all together now. <gasps> what? What year is it this year? It's the year of courage and strength and self-assuredness. Okay? Get your head out of your butt. That's kind of cruel. Get your head from underneath the pillow, much better, for Pisces anyway. Get your butt out from under the blanket, even better, and deal with your stuff. Okay? Don't stay in here and just kind of worry about it. Okay? You know what kills worry? Action. Honestly. Honestly, action does it. Okay? One way or another. Something is worrying you, you get up and do something about it. You ask somebody what you can do about it. You research what you can do about it. Okay? And you pick at that until it goes away. Just do something. Inaction, sitting there letting it rummage in your brain is not going to help. Trying to control the situation with, without any further look into it, you're just going to sit there and, and stagnate. Okay? This four is just stagnating. You're holding everything outside of you. You have to go inside of you. Grab that courage and do something. Okay? Do something, anything. Honestly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Passivity is not big on the menu. Uh, or at least it's not recommended. Okay? And you know what? With the Pisces energy coming in, that might be very hard to do. That might that might represent some difficulties, my beautiful ones. You might think to yourself, oh, this is going to be hard. Okay, so where else do I have a Rider Wade Smith here? Let's see. Do I have any other clones down here somewhere? I probably do. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I have the cute little purple deck. Let's do that. Oh, by the way, happy birthday to everybody who's celebrating birthday. We're, we've officially gone into March, and March is the March Pisces. You guys have different energy. You know that, right? I haven't used this one in a long time. I don't think this is a Rider Waite Smith, though. I think this is more, this is Pippi. Yeah, this one is more, yeah, this one is a Marseille deck, so I'm not going to use this one. Marseille, Marseille. Let's see if I have. Oh, I have this one. Let's use that one. And then I'll use my, my pink colored one then. Pink colored glasses. Let's do it. <laughs> your hopes and. No, it's not your hopes and fears. What am I missing here? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's it. No, that's it. That's it. That's the last two cards. Why is the other one missing something? It's maybe because of the way I put the cards down. Yep. Okay. So let's do your hopes and fears. Hmm. It kind of says it all, doesn't it? I mean, you look at it and it's like. You're hoping you're going to be able to, like, move this energy out, okay? To do this this transition, this moving on, this journey um, to the better days ahead. But it's like your hopes and fears is, I hope I can do it, but I don't know if I can, okay? I hope I can do it, but I'm not sure if I can. Wah! One went all the way over there. Okay, so look at this. Um, I feel like they're saying grab grab your horse and, and your passion and let's do it. Okay? Uh, don't let your fears, don't let your passions or your, your no, your, uh, because the Prince of Cups for me, he's very, uh, he's very over emotional, right? And in that intense emotional comes, comes also intense emotional fear. 
So don't let him guide you, chart you. Instead, let spirit horses, that balance of the, the horses. Oh, there's another card coming that was hiding underneath. Look at that. Instead, let the passion. Okay. Oh, look at that. Okay. He's holding that light and guess what's happening here. Look, look. Can you see it? Is it going to clear up? Is it going to clear up? Do you see that light? Look. He's guiding, okay? Don't let the over-emotional analytical side take over. Take that beautiful inspirational energy that you began with and let it guide you. You've got the two different colored horses showing a balance instead of just the white horse of light, of Pisces, right? Um, just balance yourself out. Just try to get that balance back in check. I know with the energy it's going to be interesting, but just, just try. Just try, okay? So do I really want to use this one as an ending deck? Uh, do I, do I, do I, or do I want to use a different one? Let's see, let's see, Pisces, what do I have left here that's an actual, oh, let's take, oh yes, let's take this shiny Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. That is a writer's weight smith clown right here. Haven't used, and it's shiny cards, we like shiny cards. Okay. I'm sure I have more in here. It's just that I didn't take them out beforehand. So Now, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to use oracle cards this week when I'm doing the readings. It just means that for the actual cards, I used all tarot for all those people. If I've heard over time, oh, it's not a real reading with oracle cards. Well, looky here. They're all tarot cards. There you go. All right. So, the outcome for the week. The energies of this outcome. How, how are we going to fare this week, my beautiful Pisces? Hmm? When this week closes out, what's going to do? Oh, we have the beautiful Four of Wands. So, there you go. Party time. You're going to get over this. You're going to get through this. Beautiful. Okay? You're going to go from an odd number to an even number, and that's perfect. You know... Two and two is going to make four instead of five, and that's exactly what I feel like. You're gonna, you're gonna kind of get it together. You're gonna figure it out. So things will end up being all right. Um, it's just, it's, it's just putting it in your brain. Ooh, my ear is ringing. Okay. Um, incoming message. Incoming message. Aha. <laughs> They're funny. <laughs> uh, okay, so I thought that was thought that was the hierophant. Um, it's about balancing things out, and with the Ace of Swords here, it's um, it's just getting clarity over what you want to do and how you're going to do it. I like the snow here because it's mentioning that even though we're a spring light person almost, you know, like a beautiful sunny day, beautiful spring in Pisces. Oh, so beautiful. It's still winter, you guys. Okay. So make sure that you're taking care of things in winter, that whatever you need to sow gets sown and is ready for spring. Don't take a back seat. Don't take a moment off to, you know, kind of just, it's, it's not taking a break. It's more like just, you know, um, evading this is the word that's coming in don't evade what needs to be dealt with that's it that's all that's the energy we're going to be looking at this week my beautiful pisces don't evade what needs to be dealt with or taken care of make sure that you are clear on everything the wise counsel is uh, justice um as you can see i do believe anyway Actually, it could actually be, um, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. It could be, um, what is it? Um, it's got one pillar, so it could be the high, high priestess, it could even be the, the hierophant, I have no idea. It doesn't matter. It is, just listen to us, okay? It's listen to us. Get things in balance, figure out what you want, and just do it. Just do it, Okay? Get it cleared up. So that's it, my beautiful, wonderful Pisces. Okay, so it's not justice, because I have justice here. Let me see if I can find what else. 
I haven't used these cards a lot. I haven't used these cards a lot. It's been a long time and they're so beautiful. The Emperor. The Dreamer is the Fool. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Oop. The Chariot. The Magician. Oh, the High Priestess is here. The Hermit. So the Wise Council is probably um, the Hierophant. So, right. Um, I was about, I started to laugh because I said the Wise Council, uh, that's my number, right? It is. It's exactly that. The Wise Council is the Hierophant. Um, and I'm a number five. So it's saying, come see Jane and she'll help you out. <laughs> Way to go, Spirit, the shameless plug. Let's do it. So there you go. You've got it from um, you've got it from Spirit's mouth. Come see Jane and she'll help you out with this this week. How's that? I'm 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 good with it. Take good care of yourself, my beautiful Pisces. I am sending you lots of love. You are filled with light. And you are absolutely blessed. So please, please, please take good care of yourself and come back tomorrow to see me, to listen to what Spirit has for you. Thank you so much. Bye for now.